Heart disease, percentage-wise, I'm not sure what the figures are, 40, 50 percent, but uh, actually I've changed, changed that a little bit in some of my writing and speaking. The number one disease is nutritional ignorance. <laughs> may sound odd, but that's where it all begins. At least 90 percent, maybe closer to 98, 99 percent. Cancer is the number one, number two cause of death, um, and I can't give you very precise numbers, uh, but as far as trends are concerned over time, uh, the total amount of cancer deaths now is very similar to what it was 30, 40, 50 years ago. But there's been some changes. Stomach cancer used to be number one back in the teens, 20s, and so forth. That's, over, that's way down the list. Lung cancer gradually increased with smoking and that sort of thing. Uh, and then uh, that started to come down a bit because people have been cutting out smoking. Uh, so you see these kind of changes. But total cancer, all the different kinds, is not that different now than what it was 30, 40, 50 years ago. That's a little more complex question than sometimes understood. Diabetes is usually considered about number three or number four as far as uh, death rates are concerned. Um, number three, really, is the misuse of drugs. They don't usually list that one. It's inappropriate use of pharmaceuticals. Thirdly, the cause of death. Um, as far as obesity is concerned, um, it ranks in there sometimes in, sometimes not in the top 10. Uh, some people have it quite high. Uh, however, obesity, in my view, is not really a disease. It's listed as it is, officially that's what it is. Obesity is actually um, the canary in the coal mine. Obesity is, comes along with eating the wrong food that causes heart disease, cancer, diabetes, and so on. So obesity is one of those symptoms. And so that's my answer at least. I, I just don't, I, I don't like to think of it as a disease and, because here's what happens. When it's listed as a disease in the usual practice of medicine, people are looking for some kind of solution, like finding some kind of drug, you know, to take care of obesity, as if that's going to solve the problem. It's not going to solve the problem. Because all these, if, the, if we just treat obesity by itself, uh, that's not going to control necessarily heart disease and diabetes. Drugs is not the answer. It's high, obviously, very high. Um, but the overall financial implication for a society for these kind of diseases is very serious. Per capita health care costs are now, per capita, is now, now number one in the world. We are at least two to three times higher than the next highest country. It's ridiculous. And we don't get health return by spending all that money. We're number one in the world for using drugs. So totally, we're somewhere around 17 to 18 percent of the gross national product. That's high, and it's up from about five, six, seven percent 30 years ago. It's just skyrocketed. So as a result of that cost, it's, it's getting to a point now where it's beginning to break the bank of public institutions. So you find a lot of in industries now interested, and and so forth. So. It's, uh, again, numbers. I could give you the 17 to 18 percent as a percent of the gross domestic product um, and that sort of thing, and it's climbing. It's much higher than, than any other country. So it's a very serious problem. As I mentioned before, that's, in my view, number three cause of death. There's figures in the neighborhood of around uh, 200,000 per year, uh, inappropriate use of drugs or physician error. If you add it all together, it's probably closer to 400,000. Number one, easily. 
the United States is just compared to other uh, so-called um, ECD countries, the economically, uh, the, the, the countries sort of at our stage of economic development, we're number one, and we're near the bottom of the list of those countries when it comes to quality of health care. Thank you.